okay, so I don't want to forget this before I go jogging. And um, see, ladies and gentlemen, you see, this is the habit I picked up in Nigeria on my last trip, during my last trip to Niger. You know, I, I've started chewing stick because there is something I've come to find out to discover. There's something I've come to find out. I have recently discovered that chewing this stick is way better than brushing your teeth with fluoride rich and chloride um chloride made fluoride rich uh, toothpaste this thing when you chew this thing it triggers your body your glands to produce this uh, e e e is it this uh, pepsin or something some kind of enzyme this is a salivary enzyme in your mouth and it cleans your mouth otherwise you can live without you doing nothing and this thing goes where toothbrushes can go this thing, uh, I used to have plague, plague on, on my very small teeth, down here, up here, and here and down. And toothbrushes, my toothbrush, I, I spent so much money purchasing toothbrushes and they had one, and they had ones and shit. But the toothbrushes couldn't penetrate those those inner these thing places, those hidden places to scrap off the plague. But what when the, the first day I shoot stick, I remove the plex. I remove. I was able to remove the plex. But uh, 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 anyways, I don't be waiting on one year and be that. Uh, before I commence my joking this thing session, um, I don't want to forget this. There's something I have noticed. I well, I always notice this thing every time I go joking. You know me. I do my joking on Sundays because on weekdays I usually cover like ten thousand steps. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but on, and on Saturday, I'll allow my body to rest. Then on Sunday, I'll come here to jog. And then every time I go jogging, at least on Sunday morning, early in the morning, I always see Africans dressed all, all dressed up, all dressed fine and very nice. You're always going to church. So, you know me, I'm someone who is like who likes uh, finding things out so out of curiosity i said okay let me go inside this church to see how these evil people you know say now they brought us this jesus thing this church thing so, so i said okay you know in in africa we we used to have reverend fathers only we've never really experienced this to evil people inside church how did they do do they also clap hands you know do they also dance and scream and speak in tongues you know since they introduced they brought this thing to us in africa so i was like you know out of just being curious i said okay let me go into one of these huge monumental churches and when i say huge churches you best believe this church the churches here are huge <laughs> and they are very ancient you know we have churches here that are like thousand like a thousand years old i'm serious like a thousand years like 2,000, 500, 600. The churches here are old, man. So me, I was like, oh, okay. So let me go inside one of these churches to see how these so people, people they, they do inside church. My people, ladies and gentlemen, you know, say, <laughs> to my utmost surprise, <laughs> to my utmost surprise, inside one of them churches, a very huge building like this, inside that church, there were only two Oyibo people inside. And there were these two old fat Ojibo women inside, two of them. And they came with their younger version of their darky husband. <laughs> you know, so yeah, I was like, and I, I was like, the, 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 the rest of the people, about 50 people or 60 were Africans. The reverend father, an African. They were doing their stuff, you know, they are chanting and dancing and hand clapping and all those bushes. So yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Man? I was like, what the hell? Where are the people who built this church? Where are the descendants? You know, where are the people? The people do build who whose people built this church? I was like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? So I just had to like share that one with Una, make her not forget. And you see. When I bought this thing at the relay market. <laughs> I bought this thing at the relay market. It's been good, man. But I, I, after chewing the stick, I will still use my brush and my fluoride-free, fluoride-free toothpaste to, you know, to, you know, you know, you know. 
So I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, they may make a good job at big. You know, say man, but in the be firewood, my brother, so, my ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He's like, I'll be saying ladies and gentlemen a lot. It kind of sounds funny, right? <laughs> so I'm out, huh? <laughs>